Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. First of all, it's such an honor to be able to speak about cars and trucks and technology and future products through my channel. So thank you so much for supporting me and for giving me a chance to get to this point because I'm almost at 20,000 subscribers and I've only been doing it for several months. So I'm really, really grateful for the chance to be speaking to you through my channel and to share my knowledge and experience. But there's so many questions these days that are being asked on my videos that I can barely keep up these days and have a hard time responding to everyone. So first of all, sincere apology for that. So I'm thinking maybe the best way to do this is to consolidate some of those questions and respond to them in sort of a Q&A or podcast style video that I can create in the future so that I can try to answer as much of your question as possible. So this video is about getting that feedback from you. Please comment below what kind of questions you have for me, the most pressing, the most important questions, so I can synchronize and try to categorize them into a number of themes and then create future videos so that my videos are designed and created for your needs and for your interest. Uh, so that's what I'm asking for this time. And the questions can range from something about uh, car reviews all the way to how to buy a car, to how to take care of a car. It could be technology, it could be non-technology, could be past, present, or future. It doesn't really matter. And in case you're wondering why I qualify to answer these questions, well, to give you a brief background, I was born and raised in Japan, but grew up in the US and Canada. And I have a mechanical engineering degree in terms of my undergraduate degree but I went on for postgraduate studies to study supply chain at MIT in Boston and eventually to study business strategy and leadership at Harvard uh, Business School in Boston as well. So my educational background covers a wide range of topics, uh, but in addition, my business background is the fact that I've been working in the auto industry for the last 35 years or more, uh, everything from product development, component engineering, supply chain, uh, testing and evaluation, manufacturing and production, and then most recently in the last several years, dealing with strategy and supply chain issues. So I am an advisor and a consultant and also an engineer for a variety of companies worldwide. So I cover a wide, wide range of topics and I should be able to answer most of your questions when it comes to something to do with the auto industry. Uh, so once again, uh, this is my sincere uh, request to let me know what kind of questions or what kind of topics you want me to cover in the future videos. All of your feedback will be very helpful for me to figure out what to do for this fall and beyond. So many different topics, so many things that I can talk about, but of course time is of essence. And so for example, I've got a list of uh, topics already here uh, that covers a variety of different things, everything from uh, future models about not just Toyota, but all other brands, uh, which I'm quite familiar with. Uh, also, what is a real secret about Toyota? Something that most people don't know. Uh, there is a kind of a secret ingredient or secret recipe that I want to share with you. Uh, also, what exactly is it about Toyota that makes it special and different from other brands? And of course, it doesn't have to be all to do with Toyota or Lexus. It could be things like how to buy a car in the midst of supply chain issues. How do you plan for the future in terms of what to do with your future car purchases? Uh, it could also uh, cover some of the past history. I would love to talk about 1970s and 80s cars. So lots of fond memories about cool, cool cars back in 70s, 80s, maybe even 90s. We'd love to talk about that. Uh, as well as some business strategy. How do you create a better uh, strategy, maybe if you own a business, or even if you don't in your career? How do you think about the future and plan for the future with all the knowledge of Toyota production system and Toyota strategy? So those are some other topics I'm thinking of. I can also talk about my visit in Japan. Of course, I go to Japan normally three, four times a year. So even though I can't go there right now, I can talk about my, uh, my visit to a variety of different companies in Japan. And this might be surprising to you, but I also visit Europe quite often, usually uh, five or six times a year to visit a variety of different uh, car companies and transportation companies. So I can talk about some of my experience. And then I think someone said, hey, let's talk about what's it like to work as an automotive engineer. So perhaps I can talk about a day in the life of automotive engineer uh, along with some other topics. So lots of things to cover. And uh, if I can get your feedback, let me try to work on it right away. Uh, so over the next several weeks, I can produce some really interesting videos 
to not just answer your questions, but to pique your interest and keep this channel moving forward in a way that is beneficial for you as a viewer. So thank you so much again for watching this short request video. I hope to uh, continue uh, sharing ideas and thoughts with you so that we can all look forward to the future of automotive industry. Thank you so much.